Well, it's been almost 28 years since Morgan Nick disappeared from a ballpark in Alma. A new docuseries called Still Missing Morgan is now on Hulu for people all over to watch and possibly learn more about the case to bring her family and the state more answers. THV 11's Brooke Buckner reports. June 9th, 1995 is a day Colleen Nick will never forget. And now that she's been missing for almost 28 years um, and it's, you know, all over Arkansas and all around the globe, our hope is that we are still going to find an answer. And now that a four part documentary series is on Hulu, she hopes the bigger audience will help her find that. My goal is to fight for Morgan. And, you know, we over the last couple of years had some crazy developments in the search for Morgan, but you either have to quit or you have to go forward. The latest update involved Billy Jack Lynx. Police say he became a person of interest two years ago, but he died before investigators could learn more. Once you watch the, the fourth part, I mean, you know, we've got this, this man uh, who's deceased, who did really bad things to little kids, you know, and they found her sharp fibers in his truck. So that, that's a very hard thing to have to face. Originally, Nick says she didn't want to do the documentary, but her law enforcement team said yes. We just focused on making a documentary that honors Morgan. Devin Parks, who directed Still Missing Morgan, says he's impressed by the public's response so far. It's been great to see, you know, the, the outpouring of support um, and people just now looking and trying to help in very specific ways. Overall, Nick says it was difficult to watch, but she's pleased with how it turned out. I think they did an absolutely stellar job telling Morgan's story, helping people to see her for who she is and not as just another sad story that happened. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Now again, you can watch the series on Hulu. If you have any information that could be helpful in solving Morgan Nick's case, you're asked to call the Alma Police Department.